The desire to have children is a natural instinct, but sometimes nature needs a little nudge. That's where in vitro fertilization or IVF comes into play. Ever wondered how this remarkable process works? Well, today we're taking you on a step-by-step -step journey through the world of IVF. But before diving in, remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated with women's health content. Step one, preparation. Before you start your IVF cycle, you and your partner will undergo essential tests and evaluations to ensure you're ready for this journey, from ovarian reserve tests, uterine cavity imaging, and infectious disease screening to seminal fluid analysis, ensuring your partner's sperm are optimal. Now that you have done all the tests, you are ready for the next step of IVF, which is controlled ovarian stimulation. Step two, controlled ovarian stimulation, is stimulating your ovaries to produce multiple eggs in one cycle using injections of hormones called gonadotropins. These hormones help your ovaries to grow and mature several follicles that contain the eggs. Step three, trigger phase. This phase occurs when your follicles reach a specific size, usually around 18 to 20 mm in diameter, and it involves administering a single injection of HCG or a GnRH agonist, 34, 36 hours before the scheduled egg retrieval. Step four, egg retrieval. Egg retrieval is a minor surgical procedure performed under sedation or anesthesia, in which a needle is inserted through the vaginal wall and into the ovaries to aspirate the fluid and the eggs from the follicles. The procedure takes 15, 30 minutes and is done in an outpatient setting, meaning you can go home the same day. Step five, embryo fertilization. Embryo fertilization is the process of combining the eggs and the sperm in the laboratory to create embryos. The fertilization can be done with insemination or intracytoplasmic sperm injection, ICSI. The insemination method involves placing the eggs and the sperm in a culture dish and letting them fertilize naturally. The ICSI method involves injecting a single sperm directly into each egg using a very fine needle under microscope guidance. Step six, embryo transfer. Embryo transfer is placing one or more embryos into the woman's uterus, where they can implant and grow into a baby. Embryo transfer is usually done using a thin catheter that passes through the cervix and deposits the embryos in the uterine cavity. The procedure is painless and does not require anesthesia. The number of embryos transferred depends on the embryo stage, embryo quality, maternal age, and patient preference. Step seven, luteal phase support. To optimize embryo implantation and a continuing pregnancy, progesterone supplementation is initiated. This phase typically starts after the embryo transfer and lasts until the end of the first trimester. About two weeks after the embryo transfer, a blood test is done to check the level of HCG. If the test is positive, the woman is pregnant. And there you have it, the IVF journey simplified. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, share it with those who might need it, and leave your questions and thoughts in the comments below. Stay hopeful, stay strong, and until next time, take care.